Hi, I'm Sebastian, and uh, this is uh, Audanica Sound Prism, an app we've just uh, submitted to the Apple App Store. Hopefully, it will be available soon. Um, this is what it looks like, and uh, this is what it sounds like just after you started it. Let me just go crazy. As you can see, you can do nothing wrong with it. It will always sound uh, at least good. Most of the time it will sound great. Um, so what does it do? Um, it's, a, it's a different representation of uh, notes in two dimensions, which uh, enables pretty much everyone to see that music is just patterns. which sounds similar if you move them around, but not the same. We've color-coded pitches, so you can... You can move these patterns around. We've added a bass on the left side of the screen, which influences how these patterns sound. The way the bass is arranged also makes it easy for you to create tension because Sound Prism is based on the theory that music is interesting if you create tension and release it. So everything that's vertically far from the point you've started, from the horizontal line you've started, is creating tension and you release it by going back to that line. You can play more than one note at, once time, at one time. Bass influences everything you play on the right side. And let me just show you a little bit uh, how to actually move these patterns around, which I just did, but it was probably a bit, little bit too fast. So this is a very easy pattern. Different bass, creating tension, going back. Let me switch to a different color where the lines are like this. Uh, hopefully it will be uh, visible on the video. There are a little bit brighter lines. These three, the odd lines and the um, uh, the, the even number aligns from the bottom and if you play chords on them they will sound positive and the odd lines sound uh, sad which is minor and major you don't have to know that you just have to know okay if I want to play something happy then I should stick to the higher brighter lines and if I want to switch that pattern to uh, something that sounds a little bit sad, then I just go to the darker ones. I've got a hold button where you can figure out which patterns are exceptionally nice because they stick and you can play with it. And then we're going to create uh, tutorials to show you which sounds exceptionally well. Oh, and I almost forgot, of course, we have different instruments. Thank you.